As of November 2017, Silver Sea Expeditions will explore the Indian Ocean for the first time. We will visit the incredible islands of the Maldives and then we will visit the UNESCO World Heritage Sites of the Indian Ocean, starting off with the Valley de Mayan, uh, the Seychelles and the island of Pralin, going down to Aldabra Atoll. Aldabra Atoll, it's easy to say it's like the Galapagos of the Indian Ocean. You know, this is an atoll, completely uninhabited, unique, very, very remote, very difficult to get to, only 27 kilometers long and 12 kilometers wide, yet it is such an incredible destination that we spent two and a half to three days exploring this atoll. Over a hundred thousand giant tortoises can be found on the islands um, in Aldabra. The island is incredible for marine life. It's a very shallow inner lagoon and every single day the lagoon basically dries out at low tide. Therefore the six channels that allow water to flow into and out of the lagoon is absolutely bustling with wildlife, with marine life, turtles, sharks and a wide variety of fish. One of the best activities that we get to do on Aldabra is to do drift snorkeling. So we time the tides exactly right and at the start of the either outward flowing or inward flowing tide, we drop our guests at the, out, at the entrance of the channel and then they gently drift three, four knot current either out or into the lagoon depending on the direction of the tide. So you effortlessly glide over the reefs just seeing sharks and turtles and so many different fish species. Exploring with our zodiacs you get an opportunity to see some of the tens of thousands of frigate birds and other bird species such as red-footed boobies that make Aldabra their home. Definitely worth the two days. Other destinations in the Indian Ocean that we visit with Silver Discoverer are islands like Mozambique Island, another UNESCO World Heritage Site, Ibo Island, Kilwakisawane, which is one of the biggest trading posts on the African continent, East African continent. Early in 2017, we will also visit Madagascar, the fourth largest island in the world, one of the poorest country as, countries in the world as well, with a very unique group of wildlife, you know, 80% of the species that you find on Madagascar, whether it's plant, bird or mammal, are not to be found anywhere else on our planet. It is sad that Madagascar is a dying country. Unfortunately, slash and burn is rife on the island. The deforestation is happening at an alarming rate. However, there are still pockets of pure brilliance on the island pockets of reserves that have been protected by the government. Places like Masuala National Park where we can see five, six different species of lemurs in the wild. Chameleons, plant species that you cannot find anywhere else in the world. The same with bird species. Nosibanga Bay, one of my favorite little islands that you can walk on and visit in the Indian Ocean. We also visit the island of Reunion as well as the island of Mauritius. Further up in the Indian Ocean in the Bay of Bengal we will become the first expedition company. In fact, we will be the first cruise company in the history of Bangladesh to visit. Never before has a company, a cruise line or an expedition company visited Bangladesh. And for the past two years we've been working diligently to get permission to visit this incredible country. Like with everything that we do, we scout it and we investigate and research. And I have to say that uh, when I announced that we will be visiting Bangladesh, my colleagues thought I was completely crazy. And most people thought that it's impossible to do. I took it as a challenge and I traveled to Bangladesh. And I have to say, when I got to Bangladesh, within the first two days, I believed they were right. And I thought that it will never work. It was chaos and the infrastructure is just not there. And I think I was looking at the wrong things. The tour operator and the local contacts showed me reclining Buddhas and temples and deserted beaches geared towards mass market tourism. And this is not what we do at Silver Sea Expeditions. It's not what we want. I made the decision early on in the scouting of Bangladesh to actually leave, to pack up, call it quits and leave the country. By pure luck, there was a strike on at the same time I was visiting and I couldn't get out. I couldn't change my air ticket and I couldn't leave. 
I was stuck in Bangladesh and that allowed me time, my own pace, to explore. And what I found is incredible. We will not be visiting any tourist attractions in Bangladesh. We will see life. That is what we want to see. We will experience life as it is in remote parts of Bangladesh, visiting islands that has never had tourists before. Islands like Maheshkili Island that has got Burmese communities carving out an existence with weaving, fishing, and we will get to experience their life. Visiting schools, visiting women that use primitive pieces of equipment to make the most exquisite pieces of material that you can imagine. Bangladesh does not have the infrastructure to cater for large cruise ships or mass market tourism and that is exactly why we are visiting there. You know, to be able to take our zodiacs and see Cox's Bazaar from the rivers, to see the Dow shipyards, to see the fishermen in action catching fish, using their nets, bringing their oxen down to the riverbeds to drink. Absolutely fascinating. Then going over to the Sundarbans, which is the largest mangrove forest in the world, where we will get to see incredible kingfisher species, birds, macaque monkeys, incredible forest, mangrove forest with huge tidal differences. An area that's no more than 30, 40 square miles we'll explore with the Silver Discover and will take two, two and a half days to do that. A unique experience that I absolutely cannot wait to take our guests. We will offer two of these voyages, starting in Sri Lanka, um, where we will visit the Yala National Park to see leopards and pygmy elephants. We will then go over to the Andaman Islands, where we have special permission to visit islands that have not yet been visited by foreigners before, before we go up to Bangladesh and we end this trip 16 days later in Kolkata. From Kolkata, the trip then, the new trip starts through Bangladesh for six days and we then go down to Myanmar where as part of our experience we will visit Yangon for three days and everybody on the ship will get an opportunity to be flown to Bagan and we spend a day exploring Bagan. But before and after going to Bagan we have got a wide variety of unique experiences behind the scenes activities and that we will be able to share with our guests and we end this trip and we end our Indian Ocean season with a visit to the Merke Archipelago, once again an area never before explored by an expedition company or an expedition ship and we in 2016 and 2017 will be the first company exploring this unique set of islands in Myanmar. Truly expedition experiences in the Indian Ocean.